it's bad people. Yeah. But, but then... So who's right? The Catholics or the Protestants? Listen, uh, sure, I, I, I believe in the Holy Bible. Yeah, but they both claim they have the Holy Bible. But one of them has 73 books. You know this, right? Yeah. The Catholics have 73 books. Okay. And the Protestants have 66 books. That's both of them claim they have been revealed, sorry, they have been inspired by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. They both claim this. No. They both claim to worship Jesus as God. They both claim that they have the Holy Book, the Bible. Now, if someone like me as an outsider comes, I'm going to ask both of you, if you're a Protestant or you're a Catholic, I'm going to ask you, why should I believe you as a Protestant? Or what am I, why should I believe this guy is a Catholic? Because, because the Bible says, the Bible says, we should test everything we hear to see from, if it's from God. And Jesus says in Mark 4 that we should test everything we hear for with, we should consider carefully everything we hear for with the measure we use, it will be measured to us and even more. And it's not about... But this is no, the same thing. It's not, it's, not, it's not about, oh, this is the right one, this is the... It, it's about the light, walking in the light of God, the words, our deeds, that our, how, how we live our life by. How, the, the things that we do, it says God, First uh, John chapter one verse seven. It says God is uh, God is in the light. So I say which chapter did you just quote? First John chapter First John. First John what? One verse seven. First John five seven. One one. First John chapter one, chapter five. Chapter one. Or chapter one. Verse seven. Verse seven. What does yes. it say? It says. Oh, it's, sure. it's okay. It's okay. That's fine. It's not half Israel Bible, so it's okay. <laughs> He claimed from Surah 1094, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was in doubt. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that up as well. Was it, what was he telling you earlier? Uh, he was telling them to attend his church. A lot of uh, things about the Quran. It says, it says, but if we walk in the light, as he, as he is talking about God, yeah. it's in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, purifies us from all sin. So it's about... Okay, do the Catholics, do the Catholics believe the same thing? Do you remember my question or you forgot? I, yes, I, 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 I remember. I, okay. I'm trying to remember. What you just quoted is something that the Catholics also believe. No, Are no, you no. Protestant or a Catholic? I'm a Protestant. Okay, so why should I believe you over a Catholic? By the way, the Catholics are the majority. You guys are the minority. Because they believe in worshipping God, uh, I said worshipping God through another person. Another which, another which is, wait, 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 which is? Which is Mary and, 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 and the, you know, Mary, Holy Mary. Why you only and, mention Mary? Who else, who else do they worship as God? Another person. Well, uh, Another person. Who? No, no, wait, wait. Let's see if he knows that. You said you you reject them because they want to worship a human being or another person besides God. You know, this is exactly what the Muslims have been telling you all along. That you you worship another person besides God, which in, in, in Arabic is called shirk. Associ associating, wait, wait, wait. Associating partners with God is called shirk. And this is the sin which Allah will not forgive unless you ask for forgiveness while you're alive. No, wait, wait, no, wait. No, 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 no. Because Jesus Christ himself said it himself. What? He said, I'll show you. Say, says what? He says he's God. Oh, does he? Yeah. He shows. I've been looking all my life okay. in the Bible where Jesus says he's God. This man is going to show us today something no Christian has been able to. Where Jesus claims that he's God. Please do. Oh, and he said, there's a cheat shit as well there. So, he says... He says in the Revelation chapter 1, yeah. verse 8, he says, I am the Alpha and Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Okay, so. And, and then he goes on to say, When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. Then he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead. And now look, I am alive forever forever and ever okay so basically from this what are you going to tell us you're trying to tell okay. us that wait no no one one at a time are you are you trying to tell me that because jesus was the alpha and omega and because he's the first and last he's god and he's dead okay and he's dead okay let's read let's read hebrews chapter 7 verse 3 no let me no 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 let's read that because by your criteria anyone who's the first and the last Anyone who's the Alpha and Omega should be worshipped as God. Let me finish. Am I right? Let me finish. No, no. This. You, you, no, I'm, you I'm, deal I'm, with I'm, one. I'm giving you something. No, no, but you, I don't want you to quote so many different verses. Okay. Let's deal with one at a time. Okay. So now read to me Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3. Which is also the New Testament. Yes? Yes. 
because earlier he said he's going to show us where Jesus is claiming to be God yes and when you read Revelation that particular verse was it what was the verse chapter Revelation what uh, 1 verse 16 what it says 17 18 17 18 okay that's fine so now read Hebrews chapter 7 verse 3 Verse part two. Verse three. It says, without, without father or mother, without genealogy, without beginning, without beginning of days or of the, or, or, or end of life, mm -hmm. resembling the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. Who's this? Jesus remains at peace forever. Are you, are you sure that's Jesus? He says, in the likeness of the Son of God. Jesus is the Son of God, not in the likeness. So if I say you're in the likeness of your father, you're not your father, are you? No. Okay. So over here, it's talking about Melchizedek. You know Melchizedek? The Prince of Salem? He, said, no, he had no beginning of days and no end of time. He had no mother, no father, and no genealogy. I don't this guy, that. I don't you believe don't believe that? that. Don't okay, read from verse 1. Then maybe you'll understand it. Read it loud so we can hear it. This Melchizedek was king of Salem, mm -hmm. the priest of God Most High. Yeah. He met Abraham returning from the, from the defeat of the kings and blessed, and blessed him. And Abraham gave him the tenth of everything. First, the name Melchizedek means king of righteousness. Then also king of Salem mm -hmm. means king of peace. Without without father or mother, without genealogy, with, without beginning of days or end of life, resembling the son of God, he okay. remains a priest forever. Yeah. Resembling the son of God. Do you think that's Jesus or somebody else? No, it's not Jesus. Thank you. Who is it? It says Melchizedek. So now you agree with me because earlier you disagreed with me. That is your own Bible telling you that there's somebody else who had no beginning of days or no end of life. And to me, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me finish. He had no father, no mother, no genealogy. Did Jesus have a father or a mother? Yes. Who, who did he have? The father or the mother or both? He had Mary and, 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 and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but the Holy Spirit is not his father, is he? Well, the Holy Spirit... The Holy Spirit put him into into, 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 into into the womb of Mary. Yeah, but is he his father? God is his father. The Holy Spirit is God. Is the Holy Spirit the father or is it different? As well? The Holy Spirit is the father. Really? Are you sure about I, that? I, I'll show you this. Uh, let me show you this. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before you really go further, mm. let's deal with one thing at a time. Mm. When it says that Jesus had no father, he was mm. born of a virgin. Mm. What does that tell you? That he had no biological father. Do you agree? Mm. Mm. But he did have a biological mother. Mm. Yes, so we are talking about biological parents here. Mm. Melchizedek had no father, no mother. Jesus, according to your Bible, has how many genealogies? Two. One in Luke, one in Matthew. Yeah. Okay, so in these two Gospels, there are two genealogies. Mm. Melchizedek had no genealogies. Now this guy Melchizedek is even better than Jesus. Because Jesus at least had a mother. No, I'm telling you, I'm telling you why. I'm telling you, you can shake your head, no, no, no. but because you didn't even know about Melchizedek, which I have to I point it out. Melchizedek. So why did you deny it when you read it? I didn't deny, I said. You said this is not Melchizedek I, I, earlier. I read because because I read the verse uh, Remains of Peace Forever. Because without because I read the verse three, I thought it's talking about Jesus. But even so now we have discovered another man who has no beginning of days or end of life. Yes? Can that be anyone other than God? Uh, Are you going to worship Melchizedek as God now? Why not? Because earlier you told me... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Earlier when I asked you to show me why Jesus claims to be God, you went to Revelation. Yes? You went to Revelation and you showed me about the Alpha and Omega. And about where Jesus says that he has... Uh, uh, He's the end, uh, he's the beginning and the end. Yes? But now I showed you another man who has the exact same and even better characteristics and attributes. You suddenly want to deny that. Which shows you that you do not want to accept 
someone who is the Alpha and Omega as God, unless it is only Jesus. Let's you see the double standards there, my friend. Have you have you realized this? Because if you were consistent in because, your approach, in your criteria, Jesus, because Jesus Christ says that I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No amen to that. Through, no one, no, no one. Amen to that, to my friend. Except through yeah. me. Do you know why? Do you know why is the way and not the destination? Is he the way or the destination? He's the way and the destination. Okay, no, he's the way to whom? Because he says, I am the way. The to way, whom? The way, way to whom? The, the, way to way, the way that you and I need to live our life. Yeah, that's the way. You know, that's all the, the prophets, way. listen, all the prophets came you to show the way, which was the right path to God. Do you agree? So when Jesus was sent here, was he sent by his own will or by the will of the Father? He came by his own will. No. <laughs> I'll show I don't you. think let his brother has read the Bible. Let, let me show you. Exactly. Yes, but, you know but, what I mean? No, but let me show you. I'm, but why do you, why do you preach something which is not in the Bible, my friend? Why are you preaching against the Bible? John 12, 40, John 12, 45. Let me show you. He's got a cheat sheet that he looks at, but somehow he has not looked at the rest of the Bible. I'm a Pentecostal. Yeah, but even they don't believe that Jesus came by his own will. Because that would be going against the Bible. Read John 5.30. I can by myself Listen, do nothing. This is what this is what Jesus said. Go on. Where does he say he came by his will? John John 12, 45 says, The one who soon looks at me is seen the one who sent me. That's what Jesus Christ said. Sorry, the one who looks at the me. The one who looks at me yes. is seen the one who sent me. That's okay, what Jesus so, so who sent him? The Father, he. He himself, he came by his own will. Are you saying Jesus is the Father now? Yes. Seriously. Yes. Okay, so who died on the cross? It's Jesus. But, but you said he's the father. Yes, Can I say the father died on the cross? Because he's the same one. Okay, so did the father die so on the if, cross? If I want to die for if I want to die for a dog, if I want to die for a dog and I enter into a dog, I'm not going to be a dog forever. I will, I will refer to my human self. Did the father die on the cross? Yes. I just showed you the, the revelation. Is I this a Pentecostal belief? Seriously? I think the Pentecostal church should actually teach these missionaries before they come into the field. Because I, right now they seem to be shooting the foot I, 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 every time I, they speak. Unfortunately, I, I just, I just, show, I just showed you the, the scripture. Okay, let that, me show you the scripture. That which, said that which I will, was dead and I was, I was okay. alive again. Let me, let me show you the scripture. According to you, how many gods are there? There's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. There's only one God. There's only one God, but you mentioned three names. Which one of that is God? But the same God is a mystery that, that you and I need to find out. No, but is that in the Bible? It says these three are God. Yes. Where does it say that? Okay, let me. So I show you this one in Revelation. Okay. No, that wasn't God. I showed you Melchizedek to counter that. No. So unless you're going to unless you're going to have a fourth this person actually, in the Trinity. This guy, I believe, he's seen Jesus. Is that right, brother? What, what happened? Yes, he I saw Jesus. Did you see Jesus? Yes. I what color was he? What was his complexion? He was white. He was white. He was a white man. Don't you, lie. you told me he had like an Asian man, like yeah, me. an Asian man. Oh, so he changed okay. colors. That's what I'm saying. Him, white. And I asked. Yeah, but him, an Asian man is not white. And I asked him, did you see God? What, he what said, are they? God was white sitting there. Well, they're brown, aren't they? <laughs> Asian men are brown now. Yes. What's the color? What's the difference? I don't see any difference between the of on his color, of his color, and. Are you saying he looks like a Caucasian? Okay. Well, yeah. A white man is a Caucasian. A man in here. Okay, anyway, anyway. anyway look, look. Let's, let's get over we know, we know that you haven't seen Jesus. Because I, otherwise... I, I have seen Jesus. Have you seen the Father? I saw the Father. Now, do they look the same? Well, he looked he look like Santa Claus. Who? The Father? The Father. Oh. Oh. This is getting better. <laughs> and they were sitting next to each other. Was I don't think this is getting better or worse. Was he wearing red, red so, a white man Santa Claus or a black okay, man so Santa Claus or a nation man Santa Claus. Get, eh? <laughs> you know, this is getting, honestly, it's getting ridiculous now. Okay, let me ask you this, my friend. What are you looking for now? The scripture to show you. Is that the Bible? What is that? Uh, no, that's that's the book. What does that say? Yo, right. Steve. That's what Latte. What language is that? It's a name. Is it's that a name? name? Doku? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure I heard that in Star Wars. Doku. <laughs> I'm sure you can. No, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, okay. okay. Hang on. What is it you're going to show us? Uh, that the Holy Spirit, okay, it says, 
Done. Oh, by the way, have you seen the Holy Spirit as well? <laughs> have you seen the Holy Spirit? I saw him in fire. I saw, I saw a form of the fire. So one is Santa Claus, one is fire, and what is Jesus? Just a human being? He's a, he's a human. A, he was like a young man. A young man. So you got a young Asian. Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. A young, a young Asian man. He didn't have a beard. He didn't have a beard. He didn't have a beard. I, I don't think. I can't. Remember, I don't. I didn't see. I don't. I can't remember. No, he didn't that's have fine. a beard. So you think he's like a young Asian man? Yeah. And the father is like Santa Claus. A young Santa Claus. A young Santa Claus, that's fine. You said white beard earlier, didn't you? Eh? You said white beard. Yeah. No, I didn't say white okay, beard. Okay, my fault. Then maybe I just assume how Santa Claus is based on his He didn't have a beard. He didn't have a stomach. Uh, you know, a body. Oh, Santa Claus. A belt, without a beard and without a big belly. He has a flat stomach. That's fine. Maybe he might be working out something. Okay, third, the Holy, the Holy Spirit. What did he look like? Fire. Because I was falling into hell and he lifted me up from hell yeah. in a form of a fire. Okay. So to uh, paradise. So Holy Spirit is just fire. Mm. I thought that was the devil. No. The devil is made of fire. No, no, no. no? He would have. The devil wanted to trap me in hell. So why would the Holy Spirit be fire? Because he came. He's even in the Bible in the in the Church of Pentecost. He came. He came on the disciples. Oh, I see. On, the, on clothes of fire. Oh, okay, that's fine. So now we have seen the all the three, which shows us that they are not one. They're all different, aren't they? They are one. How are they one? You just because showed us that they are all different. One is fire, one is Santa Claus, thin one without beard. The other is a nation. How are they the same? They are all different. How are they one, my friend? I will show you the scripture. And earlier you said the father died on the cross. Did he not? Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. So let me, let me one thing at a time. Keep that in, the, in mind. Okay. Second Corinthians 3, 17 to 18. So Second Corinthians 3, mm -hmm. 17 says, Now the Lord is the Spirit, talking about the Holy Spirit. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all, who with unveiled faces, contemplate the Lord's glory, are being transformed into His image with ever-increasing glory. What is that proof? Which comes from the from the Lord, who is the Spirit. So it says that Holy Spirit, the Lord, God is the Holy Spirit. That's what he's saying. Can you see a spirit, by the way? Those who are spirits see spirits. No, no, a spirit. Does spirit have a form? If you have spiritual eyes, you can see a spirit. Do you have spiritual eyes? Uh, I can't, I can't see a spirit. I don't, I don't have. But you said you saw the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but that is in the, in the realms of the Holy Spirit. Were you dreaming or did you actually see them? I saw, I saw them. In a dream or in real life? In, in real life. In reality. So you, you, were, you were awake? I was awake. Okay. But you don't have spiritual eyes. So how did you see them? Uh, but God can open your eyes. God can open the eyes of your spirit. Okay, let me ask you. Or rather, let me ask God to open your eyes with regards to what Jesus said in John 17, verse 3. Can you show us that? You, you not found a gem. <laughs> John 17, read it. 17:3. Guys, 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 trying to. Now this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you, you have sent. Okay. So who is the only true God according to Jesus? Then? I just showed you a scripture that tells you. No, that, no, no. That based on Jesus, not, not based on anyone else. You've seen the Father who has sent me. No. Based on Jesus. So, wait a minute. What you just read there? Mm. Yes. <laughs> now that this is eternal life, that you know that you, the only true God. Mm. So according to Jesus, who is the only true God? The Father. Do you believe Jesus? I believe Jesus. But Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Even the Father could testify. No, no. Did Jesus ever say to believe in the Trinity? He said. What? He says, baptize. Go, go. Therefore, preach the the, next, the gospel to all nations. Baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That doesn't mean God, does it? That doesn't even mean these three are one. It that means only means that you, Jesus, commanded the people to baptize in the three names. It doesn't mean these three are equal. So if I said, baptize in the name of uh, Mark, Matthew and Luke, these are the three names. It doesn't mean these three are one person. 
didn't say in all. But in this, you see, in this verse, which you just quoted, John 17, 3, which you have highlighted with your highlighter, mm. it says, you the only true God. You now, wait, 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 wait a minute. I want you to ponder on that before you're thinking of other answers. Just ponder on this verse. You the only true God. Can there be more than one true God? I just gave you an example that if... No, I said based on this verse only. Based on this verse, we, yes, we looked at other yes, verses. Yes. Now, I want you to ponder on this verse. First question I need to ask you is this. Do you believe in one God or more than one God? I believe in one God. Okay. Is that one God the true God? Is one God the true God. Okay. That one true God hmm. was who based on Jesus' statement? Clear-cut statement. The Father. Okay. Do you believe Jesus? I believe Jesus. So was Jesus telling the truth that the only true God is the Father? Yes. And and, and do you believe? No, he didn't say and. Yes. Oh, yes. sorry. He did say. He says and. No, no, no. Jesus Christ listen, whom you sent. You are, be, you are being taken out of context. I'm not. I'm putting it in context listen, for you. Listen. And, and I'll show you that the, the scripture that says that you, he said, you, if you look at me, you are the one who is seeing me. Is 